Hello class 5th student welcome to the EVS class today we are going to start our first chapter open your book students very good chapter number 1 the changing family about the chapter you have already learned about the life of your mother as a child and about your extended family members in this chapter, you will learn about the impact of social and economic changes on the family structure. Our family is important for us. It fulfills all our basic needs. It gives us emotional and financial security. A good family has values that make it strong and close-knit. A family creates an environment where every member develops his or her individual characters. Look student, here we are saying that family is very important for us. It supports financial, emotional, and all the way. If we are alone, then we will not be able to keep our family in the way that we keep our family. So, every family member हमारी लाइफ में एक इंपॉर्टेंट कैरेक्टर रोल प्ले करता है ओके नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू फर्दर अर्लियर पीपल यूज्ड टू लिव एट वन प्लेस फॉर जनरेशंस बट नाउ देस ड्यू टू सेवरल रीजंस पीपल शिफ्ट टू न्यू प्लेसेस सम पीपल मूव फ्रॉम वन रीजन टू अनदर दे आर कॉल्ड माइग्रेशंस पीपल हु मूव इनटू अनदर कंट्री एंड लिव देयर आर कॉल्ड इमिग्रेशन Many times people are forced to live natural climates and disaster and take shelter in another country. They are called refuses. Do you know what values have you learned from your family? Why do people shift from one place to another? There are many reasons. There are many reasons that are responsible for the migration of people. Let's read and some of them better job and educational opportunities and improved lifestyles attract people to bigger towns and cities adjustment problems in a joint family setup force people to migrate they move to places where it is easier to settle in a nuclear setup natural climates like earthquake tsunamis Floods and feminists force people to move safer locations. Man-made climates like terrorism and wars also force relocate. Man-made climates like terrorism and wars also force people to relocate. Family disputes is another reason for people to migrate. Transferable job is one of the major reason for migration demolition of slums force people to move elsewhere people living near the areas where dams are constructed are also forced to move to other places do you know have you always lived at the place that you now live in do you know Anyone who has gone to some other country for a better job. How does displacement affect the lives of the people? Next topic is what are the effects of migration? Migration from one place to another can be due to compulsion or at one's own will. Whatever the cause, there are certain effects of migration on the lives of people. Let us read about some of them. Migration due to construction of dams and demolitions of slums involves shitting of a large number of people. They have to leave their homes and relocate. There are many social, economic and cultural differences in a new place. Migrants often find it difficult to adjust these changes. Their children have to change their school which gives rise to adjustment problems. When a younger generation migrates, the older generation becomes lonely. The members of younger generation do not get the love and care of their elders. The progress of any place 
is affected when they are young and talented people migrate to the other countries. This migration is referred to as brain drain. Migration has many positive effects also. It leads to better job and educational opportunities. It usually results in improvement of lifestyle. It also leads to mixing of culture and cooperation. Do you know? Do you live in the same house where you were born? Ask your grandparents where they lived when they were young. Now, next topic is how to households change with time. Many socio-economic forces are changing the family structures and quality of life in families today. Let us go to Himani's house to understand this better. One day, Himani was sitting with her paternal grandparents and was going through a family album. She saw pictures of many relatives whom she had never met. Her grandmother told her that many years ago, all of them lived together in a haveli in Jaipur. Many family members later moved out of Jaipur due to various reasons. Their joint family split into a number of nuclear setups. Himani grandmother made a family tree of the joint family they had in Jaipur for Himanis. Look at the pictures of family tree, the made by grandmother. First one is Himani's great grandparents. Himani's grandparents, Himani grand uncle and grand aunt. Himani's parents. Himani's uncle and aunt. Himani's uncle. Himani's aunt. Himani. Himani's brother. Himani's cousins. Okay. Himani's second cousin. Himani's second cousin. Now move to the chapter. Himani grandmother then made the family tree of their current family. Himani asked about the relatives she had never met. Grandmother told her that Himani's great-grandfather had a big showroom of gold jewelry in Jaipur. Due to some family disputes, there was a division in the business. Some members of the family migrated to Mumbai, where they live now. Daughters of the family got married and went to their new homes. They have adjusted well there. Two of Himani's father cousin went to London for higher education. Later they settled there with their families. Himani got very excited. She asked her grandmother about her aunt Neha who is a pilot in Indian Navy. Grandmother told her that Neha was one of the most intelligent girls in the family. She got selected in the Indian Navy on merit. She said that earlier people did not encourage girls to go for the higher studies. They were usually taught household chores by their mother. But nowadays, girls are encouraged to take up higher education. Today, girls are doing what once were considered jobs meant for men. Since many women are working family structure, have undergone a lot of changes. Now, go the family tree. Come fast, students. First pick is Himani's grandparents. Himani's parents. Himani and Himani's brother. This is a nuclear setup. Do you know what type of family do you have? Who are the relatives whom you have never seen? Where do they live? Come on page number of 8. Do you know? Do you know any women who has entered a field which was once considered a men field? What does your mother do? What would you like to become when you grow up? Now, here 
is the remember point now we conclude our chapter with remember points our family is important as it fulfills our basic needs of life a family gave us emotional and financial securities people who move from one region to another are called migrations people who move to another country are called immigrations refugees are people who are forced to leave their country because of climates and disputes they take shelter in other places many factors are responsible for the migration of people migration has both positive and negative effects on the lives of people many socio economic forces are changing the family structure and quality of life in families okay students now we here going to end our chapter and we will meet for the next chapter in the next class okay students keep safe and keep study take care bye